Hard work does pay off. As you're about to see, it's a lesson a Macon County High School senior learned at an early age. It's time again. MCHS senior Dawson Shrum and his family harvest the first bunch of pumpkins for the year on two acres of land in the Ebenezer community of Macon County. Now 17, Dawson started this adventure when he was just 11. Steve Walker had Autumn Chase Farms out there towards the fairgrounds and uh, he, his pumpkins, I'd grow them here at the patch and then the kids would come and pick up his pumpkins and at night we'd go back there and fill up the patch. And uh, so it's like there was an endless supply. And uh, as I got older, I just kept putting out more pumpkins and that way I could make more money. And then so I had, I could sell them to Steve Walker and then I could sell them on the side. And it just kept getting bigger and bigger the older I got. Through the years, Dawson has learned the most efficient way to run a pumpkin patch. It started out, I used to plant them by hand, go through and heal them up, then go through and plant them by hand and go back with a little three gallon, three gallon sprayer and spray seed treatment and a uh, little starter fertilizer on them. And that it took all day to plant an acre doing it that way. And uh, I took a uh, old tobacco setter and when the finger trips the water, I rigged up a pipe and then every time that happens, I drop a seed and that way I could plant them by the tobacco setter. And you get a more consistent plant, uh, consistency that way, and they get a little water at the beginning and uh, ended up getting a better stand. And uh, that you do that towards the end of June, and then uh, around, uh, and then you spray a, uh, a chemical on it, and uh, that holds it to keep from weeds from coming, and that lasts to about August, really. And uh, then you go through and you plow it and chop it out, and that, and that takes care of your weeds. And uh, around hurricane season, uh, so and when it's real humid, so now to end of July, first of August, you have to spray them once a week. And uh, if you don't spray them once a week, then the vines die, and you just come back, and that, there'll be nothing here. And so that's probably the most important thing. And uh, I mean, they're pretty labor-intensive, like tobacco, but you can cut out a lot of labor if you know how to, how to. Give or take, Dawson says he races close to 1,500 pumpkins each year, jack-o'-lanterns, decorative, and small varieties. It's a lot of hard work, but worth it at harvest time. It's a learning experience from the beginning. Uh, the hard work pays off, and uh, I mean, it's made me grow up a little because you realize the value of a dollar uh, when you're chopping something out, and well, you could be sitting at home playing PlayStation, but when money gets here, you look at things differently. And then uh, your spending habits change when you know how hard it is to get one, uh, get a dollar. If you're interested in purchasing any of Dawson's pumpkins, you can call Macon County High School at 615-666-4320 for more information. Reporting from Lafayette, Barry Hyatt, NCTV.